to be able to compete in Korea is, is a lifelong dream. You know, the birthplace of Taekwondo, it, it's, it's a lifelong dream. It's not easy the older we get. Uh, the body, we have to, our body is our temple. So we have to treat it as such and we have to do the correct things. We can't just rely on training Taekwondo. We have to, we have to work out outside, whether it's strength and conditioning or cardio. Um, our diet, the older we get, it becomes paramount what we put into our body. I knew come January 1st, I put the blinders on and I just started running with it. You know, my coach tells me to jump, I say how high. You know, my trainer at the gym says lift, I don't even question, I just do. You know, my trainer flips that box up, I'm jumping on top of it. You know, it, it's not just physical, but it's mental. So I, I could definitely say starting this new year, I, I definitely um, hit the ground running with my workout. You know, my typical morning will always start off with, a, with my espresso. I always have to have my good cup of coffee. You know, that, that, that runs through my veins. Um, my breakfast will probably be a 0%, zero fat yogurt. Um, I'll put in some, you know, raw nuts. You know, a typical lunch will be um, some brown rice, you know, some good grilled chicken you know, a green extra virgin olive oil, you know, and then at night, my, my, my dinner's light. It's not, it's not heavy. I, I maybe like a light salad, you know, but again, I watch what I put on it. A lot, I use a lot of extra virgin olive oil. Um, it's, 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 it's good. You know, I compete to win. A lot of people compete not to lose. There's a big difference in that. And when you compete to win, you, you drop every amount of sweat, blood and tears on that mat. I'm good, I'm, I'm happy. Overall experience, uh, to be very honest with you, it's still very difficult to put into words. It was uh, surreal, um, beyond all my wildest expectations. Um, for lack of a better term, it was a it was a dream come true. The journey, the bonding, the the dinners, the laughs, the jokes, the long bus rides, the the long flight there, the conversations. The U.S. Masters team in itself is a family. And to be able to share this moment with my family, that, that's, that's, those are the memories that last forever. When I was in the ring, everything just came out naturally. Um, my coach would tell me to do something and I would just do it. Um, I saw things before it was about to happen. I'm blessed, fortunate, that the outcome was what we wanted and that was a gold medal. The immediate future of Master Joe is dedicating myself to my family and dedicating myself to my school. In regards of stepping into the ring, I, I don't know right now. I don't know. I, I don't know where. I'm going to continue training because I love to train. I love it. I, I love the sport. I'm going to continue training. But in regards to competition, um, I don't know. We'll see.